Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Wahab, Yankee India 3, Whiskey Hotel Romeo. Okay, so he's overseas. DX, as we would say. He says, hi Dave, thank you much for everything. Here's my question. On this website, Selling Balance, which is www.wimo.com slash en for English slash 11551-1T, there is a note saying, this ballon is intended for use with wideband, multiband antennas matched with the tuner. The ballon is not suitable for use with narrowband, monoband antennas with low SWR at the resonance point. And his question is, what would limit the use of a ballon on a narrowband antenna? Well, nothing, really. Um, there are very narrowband HF antennas, usually magnetic loops. And those are extremely narrow band, but those will tune to 50 ohms, so you don't need a ballon uh, for those. Um, if you want to uh, use a ballon with a multiband antenna, then it is just simply a, like a four to one or a one to one uh, ballon or something like that. Uh, the other option is it's a choke ballon, which is, a, I mean, it performs the function of a ballon in that it can convert uh, balanced to unbalanced um, by eliminating the signal that's on the outside of a coax. Uh, there are some who would argue whether that's a ballon. I think it is. It does the function of a ballon, but it is not a transformer in, in what it says. Now, a ballon uh, as a device is inherently broadband. Um, it's an RF transformer and the impedance change is dependent only on the, um, the ratio of the number of turns in the secondary to the number of turns on the primary. Common ballons are one-to-one -one, uh, where you've got coax coming in one side and an antenna like a dipole uh, on the other side. Uh, four to one, which can convert from 50 ohms to 200 ohms, ohms. Nine to one, which is if you want to connect to ladder line, which is a 450 ohm, which is nine times 50, so you need a nine to one ballon. Um, and uh, the 49 to one uh, ballons are extremely popular right now because end-fed antennas are having a vogue. We're about three or four years into that vogue. Uh, prior to that, five or six years ago, the uh, off-center fed dipoles had a vogue. Uh, they're still available and they do work. In fact, the reference antenna for the reference station is an MFJ 2010, which is an off-center fed dipole, which covers all of 40, all of 20, and also some on 10 and 6. So as f I need to know just a little bit more about the ballon, but I would say that first of all, determine if your antenna needs a ballon. If you're feeding a dipole, uh, I guess it's best practice to put a one-to-one -one, uh, ballon uh, right at the feed point. But my personal experience is not good with that. My personal experience is that you should just feed it directly with the coax. Um, if you are looking to work with ladder line um, connected to coax, connected to your antenna tuner, uh, use a 9 to 1 ballon um, and that will give you a very nice match. And then that 450 ohm ladder line has much less loss than uh, coax. So if you're feeding uh, an inherently uh, weird antenna with a very high SWR, those uh, will do a very good job for you. So the thing about balance to remember, there are the three kinds. There are the, the transformer kind that are voltage-based. Those have one 
uh, coil in them. Uh, there are current balance, uh, which have two coils in them. And then there are the choke balance, <clears throat> sometimes made of just loops of coax, sometimes ferrite beads or whatever. And what it does is if you've got a balanced antenna connected to coax, you will have some signal coming down the outer shield of the coax. And what those chokes do is keep that. It provides a very high impedance so that uh, that um, current on the outside of the coax will not go down to your radio. And so it performs the function of a balance. You got balanced, unbalanced. It, of course, is a one-to-one -one balance by its inherent nature. Now, there are many other ways to match things. You don't necessarily need a ballon to match a piece of coax to a dipole or something. You can always go for a gamma match or a delta match or something like that. There are just many, many ways to do it. Take a look at the ARRL antenna handbook and it'll show you more about what's going on. In your case, I would say that the ballon that is designed for the wide band will work fine on the narrow band if that's what you want to do. Because a ballon, while it may be capable of functioning on multiple frequencies, in an amateur station, it's going to function on only one frequency. And that's the frequency you're transmitting and receiving on. So, uh, don't be too worried about how they're done. And uh, remember, if you're going to deal with a magnetic loop, you're going to want to tune the magnetic loop for um, the best SWR. It's very tricky tuning them. It's a very narrow uh, tuning on those. You don't need a ballon at all uh, for those. I hope that answers your question. We're having another giveaway in the month of December. And here is how you can enter the giveaway. This is the giveaway. Don't worry, we'll get it wound up for you. This is an MFJ17754 uh, trapped antenna that does 20 and 40. Now, this was one of the antennas that I considered for use uh, in the reference station. However, it doesn't cover all of 40. It covers half. You can pick which half. You can see that I've got the... Uh, wire kind of coiled back on itself to shorten it. The 17754 comes deliberately too long and so you have to uh, shorten it and so they provide these little things with uh, uh, screws here that uh, attach the wires together and you can use those um, to do your adjustments or you can just bend the wire back like I did there. This is made of bare copper it has been outdoors for quite a while. It is in perfectly good working order. And this will be uh, giveaway number five. Giveaway number five. And so, here's how you enter. Send a postcard to Dave Kassler, KE0OG, PO Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. On your postcard, a QSL card, or a single sheet of paper in an envelope, give me your name, your call sign, and the address you would want to ship to if I draw your entry, and um, your phone number in case I have any questions. And uh, this could soon be yours. This thing is, although it works on 40, it's only 42 feet long instead of 66 feet long because you get a little bit of loading in the traps right here. Okay, that could be yours. If you would like to help support this channel financially, and I'm very grateful to those of you who do so, you can go to dcastler.com support, the URL shown at the bottom of the uh, picture, and pick one that works for you. Until we next meet, 73.